Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We found the Undercity last time. Um, I think I referred to the Lower City as Undercity a few times. So... We were in the Undercity before. That was where the Hidden Backs were and the Swoop Gangs and such. Now we're in the Undercity, which is the slums, I guess. Not a nice place to be and now let's see uh, what Hester and the Gate Guard have to do. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Um... Yeah, I will kill the rat ghouls. I'm strong enough to save people's lives. And we have the neural band equipped uh, earlier in the last episode. So we can actually see, it, see that on our characters. And um, some of these headgear things look really ridiculous. Okay, open the gate. I will kill them. Whatever they you are. risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. That's fine. We can deal a few with, with a few mutant mutant things, I think. Kara, <laughs> really? Enemy right there. Rapid shot, maybe. Uh -huh. Sure. Oh, ouch. Not nice. And I'm poisoned, so I might want to remove that you as well. 100 XP. There we go. Okay. Uh, Hendar is poisoned, but that's okay. I think everyone survived at least. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. No, wasn't I nice? Well, let's see if there's anything behind here that we can take. Oh, there's definitely a Sith patrol back there. Interesting. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? <sighs> Whoa, slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Uh, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Okay. All right for a right. If I help you get Zalbar back, you will have to get me inside the Valkar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Okay. Mission has joined my party. So, yeah. She's automatically added. She is a level 3 scoundrel. But she's also a nice person, apparently. Um, actually? 
by the looks of it. Let me just check the status. She is... Exactly as nice as uh, Karth. Okay. Uh, we can level her up, so let's do that. Attributes. One point remaining. Apparently she's a swift and intelligent person, so let's go for more dexterity. And we have a bunch of skill points to spend. Okay, she can do demolitions, which is nice because uh, that way I can take explosives more easily. And security as well would be nice. And then repair, stealth, or computer use. I guess go computer use. That's it. Um, I don't know what scripts does. Oh, oh, nice. Um... Let's go for... Let's just check these out. I've not played around with this in a long time. Um, uh, blah -de blah Okay, so I have three options to choose from for their um, behavior, I believe. I don't know if you can add more scripts somehow. Really no idea. Um, default attack means they, the character will use their currently equipped weapon in combat, characters with force powers will use them appropriately, and they will not use special items. And droids will not use their utility items. We'll see about that later. Um, we could make a grenadier, which means they will use grenades. They will only use them if they hit more than one target, will try not to kill their own people, and um, otherwise they just use normal attacks. And a support thing will use their utility items and their force abilities as often as possible. Okay, I think default attack is probably the one to go for. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's more scripts you can somehow add to the game. Maybe I'll check that out until uh, next episode. Okay. Mission. You are carrying a single blaster pistol, and you have a vibroblade somehow. But down here, I think it's better if you weren't uh, dual-wielding pistols. What? Because the Ragul are better dispatched at range, I'd say. Okay, parts and a med pack. Um. I don't really know which direction I want to go. Let's look at the map. So that's where... Um, okay, that's where I would get to the sewers. Mm. That's the main gate, that's where I came in. Let's check out this escape part here, actually. That would seem like a good idea. A minor frag mine, okay. So... What? It's better to switch to a mission for this, because she actually has a chance to recover it. A fairly decent chance. Because she has seven points in explosives, so that is more likely to be successful. I don't know what happens if you fail this skill check. It might explode or it might just be disarmed without us getting it. We will see. Okay. Um, oh, wow, she doesn't even have good armor. Um, let's give you at least some Republic mod armor. It has a maximum will dexterity bonus of 4, and I think her dexterity bonus is at plus 3. Right, yep. Yeah. And I was going to check if we got any mines from that. We did. Three minor frag mines. We could use these now, but mostly I'm, what? Uh, I'm going to sell them. I'm not a big fan of mines, grenades and such. Grenades are nice, not not mines. Grenades are help, good though. Help me. Please. I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. Okay. Um So, I'll see if I can find something to help you. No. No. I can feel it. Okay, it's going to be too late now. 
So, I will crit strike you for a bit. Mission, do you have any... You have sniper shot and nothing else, so I guess use that. Um, I think it might at, at times be more advantageous to use normal attacks, actually, than uh, instead of the skills. But, uh, I like skills. Okay, so that's one Republic soldier who survived, but... Well, he survived the crash, he did not survive the Raku. Now I've got a level up. Uh, skills. Okay, so demolitions is not very high for me. But I'm going to improve it further. S will... Uh, mm, I wouldn't mind getting Persuade up, actually. So I'm going to have to go with this. It's a little, uh, it's a little annoying that this is a cross-class skill, but persuade is important for me. Okay, feats. Um, I could improve my flurry so that it has an improved chance to hit. Um, so I get, I only suffer minus two to defense when using this and only a minus two penalty to all attacks. I think this is damage, actually. Instead of before, getting a minus four penalty to defense and all attacks. So I think I'll just improve the flurry. And we'll see if that works any better. Also, Ready. Hearth is not feeling too, yes. too well, so let's uh, give him a med pack. And then back here somewhere we had a Sith patrol, so let's see what we can do with this. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Well, I do have papers, but um, I don't like your tone. You're questioning the Sith. How many people do we have to kill before the rest of you learn some respect? Well, I guess it's time for another lesson. Patrol, attack! I think I could have just given him the papers and he would have said, okay, fine, let's not do anything, but I want to kill him. Uh, let's see, improved flurry for a bit. Uh, you could... I'll have you deal with a trooper, I guess, and you can take this one, maybe? Let's try some rapid shots. Okay, they're both dead. Sure. Wow, missing a lot here. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard, now was it? And he has credits, frag grenades, advanced med packs. Obviously, they heal for more. A, a, an adhesive grenade. Not sure what that does. I think it's a snare. A Sith energy shield. A blaster rifle. And motion detection goggles. And the other guys have advanced med pack and a blaster rifle, and you have credits, med pack, adrenal alacrity, and a blaster rifle. Okay, not an issue. I think back here is a few rack ghoul, and there's f there's one up here as well. Okay. Huh? Yeah. How about you get a little closer and sniper shot that thing? And you rapid shot it for a moment. What? Okay, nice. I wouldn't mind killing them, or at least trying to kill them before they can... Uh, poison me. It's not gonna work out every time, though. Once again, sniper shot. And if this combat system reminds you a little bit of stuff like Baldur's Gate and Arclash Legacy, well, that's because they are fairly similar. Even though this has... 
but also got extensive RPG features. Now, they were kind of eating this corpse, I guess. Uh, credits and some parts. Okay. Oh, lots and lots of ragul. I can see what? this ending not very well. Let's take mission as leader. And sniper shot, maybe? Maybe? And now, I guess, improved yes. flurry for all it's worth. He's a Rakul fiend. Is that an improved version? Take Definitely gave us more XP if uh, my memory serves. Yeah, that was the stand once apparently gave 50 and that improved one gave 300. There we go, 18 damage, wow. So we're definitely getting a little stronger now. Here's a Sith soldier, antidote kits, beam splitters, med pack, heavy combat suit, blaster rifle, and Ragul serum. Nice. Um, if you remember this, we can bring this to that doctor in the um, in the upper city, and he is going to mass produce it and basically try to cure this disease. So. I think that's a worthwhile cause. Sewer entrance, okay. But we still have things to check out here, I believe. I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes in like random little corners you can find valuable things randomly. Okay, nothing here. This is the village gate, which we've already been through, so... I guess let's head the other direction where we saw, I think, Kandorus, the bounty hunter, working for Davik. And then let's see what's going on over there. And we obviously need to get to the sewers to save Zalbar. But there's no hurry. There's no actual time pressure, of course. We've been through that rubble, so... Yep. And here's another entrance to the sewers. Right? Yeah. Which we do not yet want to enter. The lower sewers, actually. They're not just sewers, they're the lower ones. Don't... don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Um, why? Is there some danger down here? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus. I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Yes, that's definitely rat ghouls. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Definitely smarter than using improved flurry. Yeah! Yeah, that was so Wow, everyone's poisoned. Oh, and Karth is almost dead. What? Oh, Karth is dead. Well, never mind. Yeah. So, let's... No, 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 let's not advance medkit ourselves. Antidote, that's much better. And... Same for you, I guess. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. 
I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Uh, what do you mean by that? Davok sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davok won't like that. Okay, so what do you know about the lower city gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs, but the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. Um, okay. I better get going now. You already know about Davik, so what are no you, need an to off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He smuggling... Okay, blah de blah Um, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to say I'll better get going now, because we already know who Davik is and what he does. Come on, boys, let's move out! Okay. Well, one of them survived, that's something. And there's some remains. Eight credits, wow. Now, everyone's alive, which is probably about as much as I, I uh -huh. can say about their condition. They are not feeling very well, wow. Your self-healing is pathetic. Sure. Actually, mine is kind of terrible too. So, there's some more Rackle back here. Uh, well, let's see if a grenade works. Kind of does. Let's go! Time to rumble! Nicely done, okay. I don't think these rack will ever drop anything, so... I'm doing this for experience, mostly. Ah. Come on, didn't even kill anyone. But you actually do something. Otherwise, I'm going to be very interested in why you survived the crash. Sure. Okay, I managed to avoid getting poisoned. That's useful. So let's see if this rubble contains anything useful. Uh, Promised Land Apprentice Journal, okay. Might be interesting. Here's another corpse. Oh, and a minor frag mine. We will want huh? Mission to try and disarm that. Her explosive skill is much better. Very nice. And now yes. switch back to me, Mr. Starcrawled. Okay. Um, now I th think that's it. So we could now just go head back to the sewers. We should probably do that actually, right? Yeah.
And there's an entrance right there, I'll just take that. I'm not certain if it's the same, it's going to lead me to the same place as the other entrance which we found. Okay, I can't go through here. Well, darn. Well, gee, jolly. Okay, here we are. Another minor frag mine. Huh? Mission, do your job. Yes. And here's the sewer door. Ooh, Rackles. Well, isn't that a surprise? Am I hearing a a Wookiee shout in the background, or is that just the Rackles? I don't know. Okay. I'm hoping it's not too noisy here. I'll obviously uh, try to adjust the volume later in, in uh, during the editing. But you never know. Okay, that's those bounty, those slavers who captured Zelbar. Zelbar. Let's get them down. Uh, doesn't seem too difficult. Uh, uh, I don't want to go for advanced ones. I'll take a standard med pack. And let's open the door. Minor frag mine. That's a job what? for mission. Yes. Cool, cool. Now, let's check out the Outcast Corpse. Antidote, okay, Promised Land Journal. Uh, maybe we should get back to the city, actually. I have 24 repair parts, so I'm going to reactivate the droid. Optimize his weaponry, <laughs> optimize his targeting, activate his shields, and put him into patrol mode. Why not? Um... I have gained a bunch of experience for that, and I fixed that thing up completely. I won't all or do that often, it costs a lot of repair parts, as you've seen. But this droid now works for me, essentially. He's very well equipped, I will, as, as well as he can be. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he has shields and improved targeting and such. Let's do the level up on mission. She's now level 5, so... I can improve demolitions, awareness, security, and for the leftover points, I guess I could go treat injury. And feats, she gains th sneak attack 3. What does that do? Sneak attack 3 adds 3 to 18 points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target, Attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets, and any attacks made while in stealth mode. Combat cancels stealth mode, but the first attack receives the bonus. Okay, so if the enemy basically can react to my attack, this will um, do 3 to 18 bonus damage, not multiplied if it's a crit, and I have to be close to the enemy. So this will probably not work that well because I use blasters. But you never know. Um... Considering the fact that I use blasters, though, I'm going to give her the rapid shot. Okay. Sure. Now, the droid has found some Gamorians, the slaver guys, and he's going to attack them. As will the rest of my team. Oh, no, 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 actually. I'm almost dead. Which is not nice. Okay, I'm dead. Well, that might not be that nice. <sighs> okay. Well, the droid saved us. I have to be cl uh, much more careful when I'm in, sure. uh, in melee. And med pack and med pack. There we go. 
And that droid is now going to try and clean up the place. Cardio regulator, okay. A med pack. Anything else? Not as far as I can tell. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. <laughs> Sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on Terrace. You can't use conventional security stuff. But don't worry. I've come across it before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Okay. Thought that would be more conversation. Um, I'm sorry about that last bit. The droid was still fighting in the background because time doesn't stop for these kinds of events. So he was dealing with the slavers and that was making noises. But he did very well. Nicely done, little one. Um, good to meet you, Zelbar. I'm Dake Starcrot. <coughs> A life dead? You sure about that, Big Thing? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. <laughs> I'm not going to be nice. It's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. I am honored to, to accept his vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Okay, I'm glad to have you. I'm glad to have your board mission. I'm not really. I don't like her. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. Good. Good. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. Um... Okay. Hey, Rancor mon monster. Good. I'm spoiling for a fight. You did a good job mopping up those Gamorreans, but I don't think you want to take on a Rancor. Those things are huge. Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Never. I am going to kill it. Uh, I'm not afraid of any rancor. Let's go. I ain't afraid of no rancor. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there. Okay, bloody bloody blah, blah, Zelbar has joined my party, I can only have two party members. I can switch my party using the party selection screen. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I have to take Zelbar, I'd rather take Karth, so... Yeah. Sorry about that, Zelbar. But Karth gained a level up, so let's spend that level up. Skills. Uh, well, he's useless. 
Uh, let's go recommend it, I guess. Wow. Um, I don't even know why he's good with two weapon fighting. Oh, he's dual wielding uh, uh, blasters, so I think that counts. And he, for some reason, has uh, a melee attack. I don't know. I could improve the rapid shot. I think I'll do that. Um, the improved power blast doesn't lose its aim penalty. It only improves the damage bonus. So I prefer to have more secure damage in the rapid shot, which I believe loses. Uh, it, it gains. Gains in usefulness more. You know what I mean. What? Okay, so I think that is going to be the end of the episode, though. This little guy is going to walk around and possibly be a little annoying, but he did very well. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I'm going to pick up next time. And we are going to keep exploring the sewers, and I will I think maybe first thing I'll do is go back to the Undercity and talk to some more of the villagers. So next episode, I don't know how much action there will be, but I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave comments as such as always, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.